Kubernetes has gone a long path in ability to run stateful workloads like a databases and messaging queues. And Kubernetes makes it easier to deploy those systems, but not to manage them. Hi, I'm Victor Gamma from Confluent. In this video, I will explain core concepts and highlight some features of Confluent operator for Kubernetes. So let's get to it. In order to operate complex distributed systems like Apache Kafka and Confluent Platform, you need to have the main knowledge and experience of Kafka S3. Confluent Operator automates provisioning and management of Confluent Platform. Extending Kubernetes API, it operationalizes years of experience gained by Confluent while delivering fully managed streaming platform in public clouds, also known as Confluent Cloud. Confluent Operator is a piece of software that runs inside your Kubernetes cluster as a pod that will manage all requests to certain custom resources. So in order to deploy this operator, you use all familiar tools like a cool control or Helm. You have your operator. Now your language, your communication language between operator um, and your actual desire, what you want to have in your, in your cluster, would be much simpler, much concise. So let's see how our Zookeeper language looks like. So our Zookeeper will look like this. Replica 3 and RAM 1GB disk 1GB. So your language, your, you, your language, your communication aspects now much more concise. When you send this call here through Coop Control or through Helm, operator will handle this request and materialize it here. in your Kubernetes cluster. Same thing for, for Kafka. You just only say replica count. You can say how much RAM you want to give each and how much disk you want to give to each uh, broker. Also, you can say external if you want to expose your Kafka outside of your Kubernetes cluster. Also, things like security. You can enable SSL communication uh, by default. So you can say SSL true and send this request to Kubernetes. And again, because we have operator listens to this particular command, in this case, it's not going to be stateful set. It's going to be Kafka cluster resource or Zookeeper cluster resource. In this case, this request will go to operator and operator makes it happen. So Kafka here. Kafka here, and probably Kafka will be here. Interesting aspect here that I didn't specify any Zookeeper information or any connection string. Operator makes it automatically because Operator will figure out that you have a Zookeeper cluster up and running inside your Kubernetes, and it will provide this connection string for your Apache Kafka cluster. Um, also, it automatically uh, configures all required resources for your Kubernetes to access this cluster externally, provide some of the security, including SSL, for uh, wire encryption, communication between uh, Kafka brokers and between Kafka clients. The operator also makes it uh, much more easier to do upgrades. So if you decide to um, change the number of replica from three to four, it would be much easier 
to, for operator to do that um, because operator knows what, what exactly is going on here. So let's just say we add few more nodes to our node pool in our Kafka cluster. So in this case, our operator will be able to scale up our cluster. If we want to change the version, so we want to upgrade to Confluent Platform 4.5, we send this command and operator will go one by one and it will run upgrade operation on each and every broker here. To monitor our, our Kafka cluster, we can use Control Center. And Control Center knows exactly what metrics would be important for health of the cluster. So you can set up alerts and uh, only watch important metrics that will affect the uh, state of your cluster. So um, you can define your C3 and uh, also operator will make it happen and deploy control center cluster here. So that will have a connection to Kafka brokers and allow you to monitor many other aspects. Also, operator will take in care of, of management and you don't need to use any proprietary tools uh, to control it. So everything will be described in YAML that will have only required uh, configuration that allows you to focus only aspect of your Kafka cluster. Now you have it. Operator allows you to provision and operationalize all operations that you usually do and your Kafka administrators usually do with your Kafka cluster. It's like having Confluent consultants sitting your data center and manages Apache Kafka and Confluent platform for you. Operator will have even more features that allows you to successfully operate things in production and move from one environment to another because operator allows you to provision a replicator so you can establish connection between uh, multiple data centers, you can establish connection between different environments in order to move data from one environment to another and so far and so on. If you want to learn more about how to run Confluent Platform in Kubernetes and you have any specific questions, leave those in the comments below. And I will see you on the next video.